Hello, I'm Master Chief Dino Medler, the Senior Enlisted Leader to the Chief of Navy Chaplains for the Religious Program Specialist Rating, and I'm here with Meg Pond Stevens to discuss chaplain support for our sailors and our families. Meg Pond, thank you so much for joining us this morning and taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, and your continued support of our chaplains and our RPs for what they're doing with our sailors and our families in the fleet. I appreciate your willingness to share your experience with us and maybe help us debunk some myths out there that might get in the way of why sailors would not come seek the support of a chaplain. Master Chief Medler, thank you very much for the opportunity to be with you today and have a conversation with our sailors thank you and, their, and their families. Thank you very much. You know, at the end of the day, it's really all about controlling what you own, which includes knowing who you can turn to to help when you or a shipmate may need it. McPon, what comes to mind when you think of a chaplain? Master Chief Medler, when I think of a chaplain, I think of somebody who is a spiritual leader, a pastoral counselor, and a person that you can go to in complete and total confidence and trust that what you share with them will be kept private. Thank you very much. You know, there really are a lot of myths out there of what might discourage a sailor from seeking out the chaplain support. Uh, some of those myths might include uh, intimidation by their rank or possibly that the only goal of a chaplain is to convert them to their denomination or perhaps that uh, you can only go see the chaplain if uh, it's a spiritual nature. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you tell that sailor if you were engaged in the fleet? What I've learned uh, that you have to be to go see a chaplain is a person. That's all you have to be. Uh, the chaplain is there to listen to you, to hear what you're your issues, your thoughts, your concerns are, uh, to provide professional recommendations on how to best deal whatever challenges that you may be facing. You certainly don't have to worry about their rank because uh, they never throw that out there, right? They see themselves as, uh, as, as I mentioned, pastoral counselors, spiritual leaders, and someone that wants to help you through whatever your challenges may be. Thank you. Uh, can you speak to the value of 100% absolute confidentiality that our sailors and our family members have with their chaplain. Right. And I've tried to make that clear uh, in our discussion so far is that uh, our chaplains understand it's part of their conduct uh, of, of ethics, their code, that what you share with them is between you and them only. So please, for our sailors and our families, uh, feel free to discuss with our chaplains uh, whatever is on your mind and understand that it will be kept in utter and complete confidentiality. Thank you, Meg Pond, for spending time with mm -hmm. us this morning. Uh, is there anything else you would like to tell our chaplains and RPs? Well, my good friend, Master Chief Medler, I just wanted to say thank you for the opportunity to address our sailors uh, today and their families and to specifically call out and thank our religious program specialists, our chaplains and our RPs. What you do matters. And I just uh, truly appreciate it from uh, the very depths of my heart. Thank you very much.